pipe down. I'm in charge now. Hmm, what am I more scared of? This guy who has a crooked wig or the fact that he has a gun? First of all, put the buttons up on your pajamas, that will make you a little bit more scary. And maybe don't look at me as if you're gonna cry. But yeah, this guy totally gives off alpha energy. It's not the fact that he's got a gun. Who even posts these and honestly thinks that they're good? My god. I guess it's time to show you how anime I can get. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Ah, this filter is pretty nice. I like it. I should do it more often, don't you think? <laughs> that was a pretty good indication of what I thought of that, and I'm pretty sure everyone else watching that video is just like, why are my eyes melting? Okay, for this first video, I'm just gonna say it. I did not get carried around in my mother's womb for nine months to have to see this. Seriously, what did I even just see then? I mean, like, why do my videos get shunned, but YouTube allows this on YouTube Shorts? And a good old default boy right there, what else could ever go wrong with calling someone a default boy? And I don't know what it is, but this girl, I assume it's like a tail, but it just looks like a King Henry VIII turd with like a ribbon on the end of it. Like, <laughs> does it not look like that? I think I'm a pretty accepting dude when it comes to people's pronouns and whatever they want, but I, I cannot get behind calling people this. But now, guys, you can be trans-autistic. Yeah, that's right, that's apparently a real thing. It refers to someone who wants to become autistic. It can also be used to describe someone who feels they should become autistic. My favorite part of how dumb this is, is in opposition, a cis-autistic individual is someone who doesn't want to become autistic and or doesn't feel they should become autistic. Look, I'm just a dude. I don't really have any pronouns. And I damn well am not going to go around and be like, hey guys, I am cis autistic. I just find this is just incredibly disrespectful to people who actually are autistic, that people would want to pretend that they are autistic. That would be like someone coming up to me and saying, I'm trans beaties, where th they're not actually diabetic, like me, I am, but they're they want to have it. What? This is like the worst thing I've seen in a while. Do better, world. When he's a 10, but he accidentally got my mom pregnant when I was out of town, and they are keeping it, so now I don't know if he's my boyfriend or stepdad. I mean, yeah, that's just the first thing you do. You find out your boyfriend slept with your mom, and then you just make a TikTok about it. Also, this guy has like a really long torso, or his belts are just really low down. I don't know why I just had to point that out. There is so much weirdness in this, I don't even know what to say. I mean, what would you guys do if you found out your mom slept with your boyfriend or girlfriend? Or your dad slept with your girlfriend? It's pff, weird. Um, hi. <laughs> Why did you turn your comment? Wow, even people in the LGBTQ cannot stand this individual. They really put some aggression there in taking that flag down as well. God damn, good job. Oh, um, well. <laughs> I mean, wow, I don't normally like loud people anyway, but this really takes it to an absolute extreme. I just love the absolute Hulk smash that they did on the table. Really just emphasized that they just <laughs> didn't need to do that. So first, I would like to say that no, it is not because I got too much hate and couldn't handle it. I promise I am okay. But I do appreciate all of the people that sent me kind words and lovely DMs. Get in the bin. I really don't understand people like this because I think these people are trying to be quirky by acting like Pixar Disney characters with the over-exaggerated movements, when in fact it just makes people glad that they have never met these type of people in real life. Like, that's obviously annoying people, don't get me wrong, but this, to me personally, is just a complete different level of annoyance. Okay, so this next video got a whopping 2 million views on TikTok with 205,000 likes. I I'm gonna just show it to you and I want you to see if there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> Dream. 
Okay, I'll say, if, if it was a typical guy response, it would be like, you know, what's wrong with this video? It's great, it's the best video ever, but, but the reality of it is, is this kid is filming his mum's, like, first trap. Like, does no one else just think that's kind of weird? I can just imagine this kid is just absolutely haunted to ask his mom for anything because he knows she'll ask him to make some weird video of her. The comments as well on this video are just very weird as well. Everyone's just saying that they'll be this kid's stepdad. <laughs> or the fact that they'll be begging for more than just V-Bucks. It's just weird. But while you guys are thinking about that, check out this 14-year-old and how goddamn cool he is. <laughs> Clearly the car is parked on his mom or dad's lawn, I'm just saying. And I don't know why, but why does he do this creepy thing with his eyebrows? And what am I honestly gonna find under a hood of a 14 year old who apparently owns a car? Like what do 14 year olds even have nowadays that could be anything a 14 year old would carry. Can somebody in the comments actually let me know what is like a thing that boys do in high school which they think is really cool but is actually really cringe? Seem a little crazy, pretty baby, but I promise Well hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let me read this. I'm having a mental breakdown on public transport. This is humiliating. Story time, so I'm on my train and I get the urge to use the bathroom. So I asked the train assistant lady if they have any litter boxes since I'm a ferian. I don't know what that is. And she says no and giggles. Excuse me, what am I supposed to do now and how in any way is that funny? Litter boxes should be available everywhere. Your ferian phobia and furry phobia is not an excuse. Hang on a minute, is this person honestly asking for a litter box to be on a train? And everywhere it seems. Bruh, if I went round the corner and saw someone just taking a massive dump in a litter box, I'd just I just leave planet Earth. I mean, if they want to act like animals, why don't they just go take a waz on a tree or something? I don't want to walk past a load of litter boxes and see just a half-buried turd just sitting there chilling. What planet are we on? Seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, which one do you want to take home? I mean, just looking at these guys, these are just Discord Mods 101. What else do you want me to say about them? I honestly just can't get over ladies man Noah's lip bite. I mean, god damn, look at that thing. But right, that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below as it really helps me out. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.